Hi students, I hope you are well. Um, I am doing this tutorial to help you learn how to set up your RSS feed. As you read, I love my RSS feed and spend um, an interesting amount, perhaps, of my time reading all the different news and information that is available to me just by going to the feed. I love it. So I use Google Reader as my feed reader. To set this up, you just go to google.com, click on more, and then click reader. If you already have a Gmail account, you can use your Gmail account to set up your reader. If you don't, Gmail accounts are free and you can set one up just for the purposes of your reader. You don't have to use it for anything else. So I'll enter my email name and password. You'll see that my reader already has some items in it because like I said, I do use it um, frequently. Now it doesn't have a ton of items in it because I read it um, not too terribly long ago. Um, so it has 13 items that have uh, accumulated there since I last read it. Uh, those are 13 new items. You can look at all of your items uh, in any given period of time, uh, but I don't like to do it that way because there's no reason for me to look at things I've already read. So I just do uh, the new items and um, you can see each of my different subscriptions here. It's just showing uh, my subscriptions that actually have something in it. So showing only updated as opposed to showing all of the different things that I subscribe to. Um, I just prefer to show, show it updated and I do it alphabetically um, and show um, how many are unread. So uh, if you are just setting up your reader, then you're going to want to browse for some things to put in it. You can do this by hitting browse for stuff, then go to search and then just choose a topic that you are interested in learning more about. Like maybe it is public relations and then you can search for those feeds. And you'll see um, a variety of different public relations feeds that it pulls up. Uh, there are a couple of things that you can do here to determine whether or not you want to subscribe to the feed. One of the things that I do is just look at the number of subscribers. Um, if there are a really small number of subscribers, then maybe it's not best for you. Um, uh, so you might want to look at the title and then the little summary. It also tells you how many posts they do per week and then the number of subscribers they have. If you want to subscribe, you just hit the subscribe button and then you can organize them in new folders. So you can create a folder or you can add it to say a public relations folder. Now I had my entire feed organized in topical folders there for a while, but what I found is that there were things that I had subscribed to in the individual folders that perhaps I wasn't that interested in. And it was difficult to determine um, what I liked and what I didn't like in each folder because uh, it was all there bulk together. And so I, I undid all of my folders because I just really didn't like them. Um, if you do have things in folders and then you decide um, that you don't want that anymore. You can um, unbundle them. You can delete folders. You can unsubscribe from uh, different individual bro uh, blogs or websites that you're no longer interested in. You also can view them in different ways. You can review them as um, you know, more substantial summaries. Some of them even have photos with them, or you can just look at them as list. It's up to you. Uh, so you can see that the number of things is growing here because we subscribed to a new site. So we can just unsubscribe to that. I still have 13 items in there so I can go through and I can look at each one of these individually. Or maybe I decide that 
you know, I've been away for a few days or I haven't had time to look at it and I've got hundreds of items in there and it's just really overwhelming, I can just go right up here and mark them all as red and it's not overwhelming anymore. Um, another way that you can look for items is just go into your regular, um, you know, Google search or whatever your um, search feed is that you prefer. And you can look through for different uh, sites that you might be interested in. You might find um, different ones. And then you can um, either look for the RSS feed on there or you can look in the bar. Click there and it will take you automatically. Pretty good. Let's subscribe to it to your RSS feed. And so that's how you set up an RSS feed. If you find a site that you do really like, you also can look for more like it. There aren't any here, but most sites do have those. So uh, that is the simple way to set up your uh, Google Reader. I hope you enjoy it.